Next up is Robert. He owns Projector App. I gave his little uh, spiel in my talk, and he actually had Becky uh, Ball, who's one of our members, joining him because she has been an active participant in using his product and really excited. And so hopefully Becky's going to be showing up here. And I think... Um, I wonder if, if I turn my uh, my camera off and you can hear me and then you don't have to see me. Does that work out? No, then you have to see me like that. Um, <laughs> That's so okay. We'll we like seeing you, Kathy. You don't mind seeing three people up there. Okay. Um, well, welcome, uh, Robert and Becky. Glad to see you guys. Becky, is it a beautiful day up there in New Hampshire, like down here in Connecticut? <laughs> it sure is. It feels so good. <laughs> I know. It's like we're glaring at the, looking out the window all day. So, Robert, go ahead and uh, tell us about... Uh, your business, what you're doing, and then how Becky uh, can bring Becky in as well. Absolutely. And thank you, Kathy. And hey, Becky. <laughs> uh, so for everybody, Projector is about my family. Um, and I think all the photo managers would be proud of me as an end user. I was very well organized and well protected with my collection of photos and videos. Uh, the issue I was having was my family's ability to actually enjoy them, to easily access and watch all this incredible videos and photos that we had. And I watched my family. My family is really good with a remote control. You give them a remote control, they can watch TV. And we are streamers. We cut the cord. We stream even live TV. We stream everything. I even have a TV going here. You can see all the apps that I have subscriptions to back here, if you can see that TV. So I thought to myself, wouldn't it be cool if my family had its own, for lack of a better word, Netflix, where they could take the remote, launch an app, and they'd see instead of other content that uh, Hollywood producers created, what about it was our content? What if they wanted to watch my child's first birthday, my child's college graduation, um, any events we had? And it would look and feel like a Netflix production. So when you click on a movie, you see a big preview with a description and a title, and it gives you information about that. And I could share that then with other members of my family. And it's private. It wouldn't be on a, a shared um, app that's either social media or people like or comment. It's just a private vault just for us. But again, make it easy because my wife isn't the most technical person. She's never going to program the radio stations in her car. But she, again, is really good at remote control. And she knows everything about anything ever produced and, and broadcast on HGTV. Why can't she watch our home movies the exact same way? So I came up with the idea where I can go to a website, upload my content, assign it to categories, assign, give it titles and descriptions, download the smart TV app uh, on any one of our devices, Apple TV, Roku, Fire Stick, Google TV, Samsung smart TVs, and my family can finally enjoy it. And <clears throat> when the pandemic hit, um, and it was a weird time for all of us, I just decided I'm going to do this. And as Kathy said earlier, I've never been involved in a business to consumer product. I've never developed an app before, but I just felt this had to be done. And I assure you, even before I did that, I tried and I love YouTube. I love Vimeo. I love Plex, all these great services. I tried to create a family YouTube channel. We don't have to go into the hours of why it doesn't work for what this application I wanted, but I did try that. Uh, so I did it. And it took me a several years and I got it ready just before the photo managers conference in Orlando. And I debuted it in Orlando. You were mobbed. She was like the rock star over there. You couldn't get, you couldn't like claw your way through the crowd to get to Robert. Right. <laughs> I never thought I'd want that, but it was really fun. <laughs> so Becky, or is, at what point do you want me to, um, what are the three, key takeaways you want professional photo managers to leave knowing today. And I'm not sure if, if that, Becky, you're taking that or if there's a, well, you know. I'll jump on that if that's cool with you, Becky, and then give Becky some time. That's why I'll, I'll make it kind of short so we do have time with Becky too. Uh, but I want to tell everybody is that this product I just described, it now exists. You can go to our website at projector.app. You can create an account real quickly. You can upload videos and photos for yourself, your family, but of course, your clients. And that's how I see it. I see this as a tool. Call it, and I love the photo frame. This is the photo frame on mega steroids. Now it's an incredibly interactive TV streaming app for all the families that you support out there. Uh, it now um, exists in the smart TV streaming device platforms like Apple TV, Roku, 
Amazon Fire Stick and Google TV. Again, I don't know how well you can see, but here on the left, I have a slideshow because Projector also had to be the first video streaming app that allows you to upload photos and play slideshows. I believe it's the easiest way to play a slideshow on a TV. Here is an Apple TV and you can see uh, that's the Projector app and it launches the Projector app and, uh, and it works great and it works the same way in all the other devices. Over here is a video an old family video of my third child's uh, first birthday uh, from about 20 years ago. Um, and it's playing on a Google TV. And then I also have a Roku on the wall. And I'm here to also tell the photo managers, and it's not officially released yet, but you can use it. We did launch our Samsung Smart TV this week. Uh, not officially, it's even pre-beta. But if you wanted to try it on the Samsung Smart TV, we now have the projector app. Too. So you upload your content, you download the smart TV app, and now any one of your clients who streams, which is most people now, you can give them their own video streaming app. The second thing is we are in beta. We are launching this for the photo managers in beta for an introductory rate of only $29.95 for the year. You could upload as an unlimited amount of videos and photos. And for under $30 a year, you can give your clients their own video streaming app. And we tell you it's in beta because it's just launched. This is a brand new concept and we wanna work with the photo managers. Since Orlando, I've been working with at least three dozen photo managers who are using it, who are creating projector accounts for their clients and they are giving me incredible feedback. And they're also being very patient with us because they're finding bugs and nuances, which we've discovered just since Orlando, uh, and making progress and making this a great product. Um, the third thing that I've learned, uh, going back from Kathy's um, opening statements, is I believe less than 5% of families, and anyone can go to my website, create an account, upload and download the TV app, and have their own video streaming app. But I believe less than 5%, and maybe the truth is less than 2%, will ever do this on their own. This is a product for people like the photo managers. Families want it. In fact, one photo manager, their quote was, every family needs projector. And my, my response was, and none of them are going to do it without a photo manager. So this product, and the final thing I want to say is, this is for you. If you believe in it, if you think your families would get excited about it, for you to build for them. I think those are my three, Kathy. Those are I awesome. Thinking. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, I've used it. I mean, when I met Robert, I before, you know, I went, I went right away, and um, there I have my projector app, and I haven't. I probably need a photo organizer too to kind of get me going to get my get all my movies back up there and get it all set up. How beautiful it works. So, Becky, why don't you talk us a little bit about how you're using it and um, what your experience has been? Yep, exactly. So, why am I here with Robert? So. Um, I think, you know, originally the background um, is, Kathy, you had uh, mentioned it to me back in February, I think, when we were, um, as the, I was a member of the planning committee um, for the photo managers, and you had mentioned it to me because it really, you know, I think many of you all know that 90% of my uh, business is uh, home movie transfers. And so when, uh, you know, Kathy had mentioned it to me and I got really excited to meet Robert um, in Orlando. Uh, but then um, as part of the masterclass that I took, uh, strategic growth masterclass, I, it came up in, con, um, in conversation with uh, Shelly Gross um, because she also knows Robert. And so I'm suddenly hearing his name twice in just a matter of a couple of weeks and I uh, got to um, reach out to Robert and just say, hey, I think I'm kind of interested in hearing about what you're doing uh, before or Orlando, if, if you can just fill me in. So he and I got connected and uh, I just got so excited because after he showed me kind of what um, he just showed you, but um, in a more detailed level, um, I was like, this is absolutely what I have been looking for. I think anyone that's out there doing home movie transfers um, knows that we're now doing, you know, most of our transfers are to MP4s. We're not, we're out of the DVD kind of thing. And, but yet the customer base that has these old formats um, are older 
are older people and they want to just be able to play their home movies as easily as they did as just putting a DVD in and hit and using the remote to hit play. Well, that's as easy as projector is. It kind of gives you that exact same uh, feel or look and feel um, using the remote and having your, your movie up there full screen. It's so different than YouTube. It, it, um, it's, it's, it's just, Amazing. It looks like Netflix. It looks like you're calling up Netflix on your TV or Hulu or any of those uh, smart TV apps and you hit play and you get to watch your family movies in big screen as easy as that. So I was like, I need to get involved with this. <laughs> so here I am. And then when I met and talked to Robert in um, Orlando, and kind of since then, we decided to uh, put this beta program together to um, help we kind of roll it out in a smaller release and, uh, you know, have uh, people, uh, photo managers maybe join in on this um, and to sign up maybe, you know, um, two or three uh, customers that would be willing to take it on as knowing it's in beta, knowing there might still be some issues, knowing it's not yet perfect, but we'll get excited to try it out and be a part of, of uh, reporting back those issues. Um, you know, it may be as simple as, hey, we love it. It's working great for us um, on this platform. And then somebody else might see it not working so great on another platform. So they can report this information back to us. We're gonna put all of this together in a, in a program, kind of roll this out um, in a process and um, have, you know, uh, a way to report back and uh, have all the avenues and the routes in place to do this. So that's kind of my involvement. <laughs> that's awesome, Becky. That's great. This is, this is the power of uh, this community inter intersecting with uh, innovative companies who are, you know, in that the ability to kind of work together based on, you know, right. There's so many things, Robert, I'm sure you've learned that the photo managers need. So what would be the next step for them? Uh, they can visit your table, right? You're going to be here today so they can come by again. Uh, remember, so you, when you go back into the main room, there'll be the names of all the different uh, exhibitors. You can go to their table. There's, if Robert's at one, it's limited to five others. So make sure that you're, um, you know, when you hear your information, step away if somebody else wants to step in. And But what how else can they get in touch with you? And um, we already put your website up, but any other ways too that people can reach out and learn more? So I'll be at my table in Remo all three times today that we're blocked open. Uh, and please come by and, and I'll give you some additional ways that you can work with me. But to, to carry on with what Becky said, we've already made product updates and product changes because of feedback from the photo managers who are now working with us since Orlando. Some are small and some are big and there's a long list of new ones that we never thought of until the photo manager said, you know, you, you really need to do this or what do you think about this? And they're, I, they're brilliant ideas that we would never be able to understand without your help. So that feedback's already happening. Um, certainly if we're not already connected on LinkedIn and I know a lot of people out there, we are connected. You could always reach me there. My email is simple. It's robert at projector.app and app is .app, robert at projector.app. A lot of uh, photo managers have since, you know, they have my cell phone. We talk all the time. And anyone who's interested, I'll uh, certainly provide that as well. Um, and I'm also doing every Tuesday now at 10 a.m. Uh, I've done it three times now. We've done these learning sessions where about five or six photo managers, and I try and keep it around five or six. I think yesterday we may have had eight, uh, or I'm sorry, Tuesday we had about eight of them who they'll pop into this Zoom and we talk about the product. I show them things. They give me feedback and everyone's always welcome to that. I could even do it more times than just Tuesdays if uh, it works for people's schedules or for West Coast people. So um, you know, we're here to, you know, I'm here to make this product uh, take off, be successful. And I think it really requires the partnership with the photo managers. And then one uh, one question that just popped up before, is it available for all regions like South Africa? We have members here from Germany, Australia, um, Europe. Yeah, so that is a good question. So it is global. When people create an account, and you may have heard stories uh, when, when Twitter was just recently acquired, they figured out how many hundreds of thousands, if not millions of their users were actually bots, fake computer bots. So we do require when you sign up, you give us your first name, last name, email, and then we want to send you a text or SMS code just to verify you're a real human. That's the only time we don't, we don't 
keep your cell phone. We don't bother you, but we need to test uh, that out. So you will have to put your um, phone number in. Make sure you choose the correct country code. Sometimes that field isn't so people hit that field accidentally and they switch it to Australia, but they're in a U.S. Uh, cell phone. But once you do that, there are some countries where there are known hackers that we've blocked, uh, but none of the countries you've mentioned, or I can't imagine any of the countries here, uh, it's primarily countries that are known hackers. And if, and, I, and if anyone had an issue where they had a cell phone from one of those countries, one of them, so you know, is Russia, um, then we can work around it with you. Uh, so that's the only restriction. Otherwise, it works everywhere. And I think we have accounts now in about eight different countries, um, as well as probably almost every state in the country. So, uh, you know, there's right. no limitations. Right. Well, thank you, Becky. Great to see you as always. And Robert, and uh, enjoy uh, getting to know uh, Robert and Becky at the at the table. So thank you so much for your spending your uh, time with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you.